Welcome to the Watchman Channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am asking that if you can, to please help to financially support this ministry. If you feel led to pledge any amount of money, it would be extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. There is a PayPal link in the description box and in my pinned comment below. You can also donate using Cash App. My cash tag is dollar sign watchman 1963 thank you all so much for your prayers and support god bless she here but everyone just uh cheered and screamed for killing babies so that was disappointing anyway here she is did you hear that some guy in the crowd shouted jesus is lord and Kamala said, I think you're at the wrong rally. And then she said, try the smaller one down the street. Everyone laughed and laughed and cheered. I wanted everyone who's a believer to hear that for themselves. There can be no doubt we are living in the last minutes of human history and world events prove it. The Bible tells us although people see the signs of Jesus' return, they're willingly ignorant. Sadly, this includes many in the Christian church as well. Second Peter 3, 3-7 through knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. We're not going to be gaslighted on this. We remember Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with, with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. <laughs> oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. to go to the smaller one down the street. Come on. Jude 1, 17 and 18. But you, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how they told you that there would be mockers in the last time who would walk according to their own ungodly lusts. Kamala Harris and her running mate, Tim Walls, both claim to be Christians. The problem with that claim is, they hate the things God loves, and they love the things God hates. To run a presidential campaign on abortion shows us where America stands as a nation concerning the ways of God. We can rest assured, God will judge America for murdering unborn babies in the womb. Proverbs 6, 16-19 these six things the Lord hates, yes, seven are an abomination to him, a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. So, on the subject of his intention and what he actually did to undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. Let's understand what has happened since. It is now the case that in America, one in three women live in a state with a Trump abortion ban. Many, many of these bans have no exception even for rape or incest. But, and you react that way because we understand the idea that someone who calls themselves a leader would even make no exceptions for a survivor of a violation to their body and to tell that survivor they have no right to make a decision about what happens to their body next, that's immoral. That's immoral. It's immoral. What's immoral? 
is justifying a violent act on an innocent baby because a violent act happened to the mother. A child who is conceived through rape or incest is made in the image of God, the same as any other human. That child's life should be protected just as much as the life of any other human being. The circumstances of conception never determine the worth of a person or that person's future. And I know we all agree one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do. And it is my pledge to you that when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom nationwide, as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. Proverbs 8.13 The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverse mouth I hate. Proverbs 16.5 Everyone proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though they join forces, none will go unpunished. The Bible tells us in the last days that people would lack sympathetic understanding, that people would be unfeeling and pitiless toward their own family. As we read in 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Without natural affection is the Greek word astorgos, which means without affection for family, parents or children, thus hard-hearted towards kindred. I can think of nothing more hard-hearted towards kindred than those who want to murder their own child. Many people in our nation today exhibit insanity because God gave them over to a debased mind and the endless, insane news headlines prove it. Romans 1.28-32 And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness, they are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. There is good news for anyone who has had an abortion, and that is, that God offers forgiveness to anyone who confesses their sins, as we read in 1 John 1, nine. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 Peter 2, 24 Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. The signs of Jesus' soon return are so strong now, and the evidence is so clear, that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world as we know it is near. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the ABCs of salvation. A. Admit that you're a sinner. B. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and God raised him from the dead. C. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Jesus 
paid the price for mankind's sin. He has provided a way to spend eternity with him and the Father. All you have to do is believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. God has already done all the work. All you must do is receive, in faith, the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in him and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the only way of salvation. That being said, we must repent of our sins. While repentance is not a work that earns salvation, repentance unto salvation does result in works. It is impossible to truly and fully change your mind without that causing a change in action. In the Bible, repentance results in a change in behavior. Repentance, properly defined, is necessary for salvation. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning. My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready! Get ready! Time is short. Call upon the name of Jesus today.